Hi guys, welcome back to PJs. In this video, I want to focus on this particular component here. I don't know its exact name, but as you guys know, this comes and is fitted on the K and KS2 carburetor, and uh, it's normally fitted with a pipe running from here and onto the carburetor at the bottom there, as you can see my finger. But mine's not on. I will explain later on why I have blocked off my pipes. I think many of us are unsure of what the daily is and what the daily does. Now firstly, this component has absolutely nothing to do with your choke. Because if you take off this component, your choke will operate perfectly. From my research we have, which I've made, you know, from previous um, mechanics and on the internet, this particular part is used for, used on engines where there is an aircon fitted. So if you have a carburetor um, model and um, you have no aircon, this thing serves no purpose. Now, as you know, normally when you have an aircon on your car and you switch on the aircon, then the idle tends to drop. So what this part does here, it compensates for the drop in idle and as the engine vacuum pulls onto the, this diaphragm inside here, it will increase the idle speed and that is what this uh, component is actually used for. So let's call it the idle up vacuum. So now you can understand what I'm saying that you don't need the workings of this component if you have an engine that has no aircon on it. But it's all fine to leave this all uh, here and leave the hose running from here to the bottom then it's all fine to leave it on but there's one problem that i encountered and that is why i blocked mine i'm going to show you now inside here is a diaphragm a rubber diaphragm which when i opened up this thing i found that the diaphragm was um, punctured it had holes and tears in it and that meant when this thing was actually sucking up against this component with a diaphragm in here that was shot it was actually then sucking in air and that affected the idle speed of the engine that is why i took the liberty to take these pipes off and i blocked off this one and of course mainly this one at the bottom here i just took a rubber like this and i stuck it on there okay i can't get my fingers to it now but you get what i'm saying i stuck that on there and i blocked off that port which means now my idle smoothed out and what I'm trying to get at is, if you have unmetered air going into your carburetor, it's going to lean out the fuel mixture of your carburetor, which means you're going to get an unstable idle. And that is why it was important for me to block off these two pipes, this one specifically at the bottom, so that it doesn't suck air. And you may have your pipes all still connected, but do yourself a favor, take this um, component off, open up this uh, diaphragm, open up this um, housing and check if your diaphragm inside here is shot. If it is shot, you're, you're actually driving your engine and your fuel mixture is being leaned out by unmetered air coming in. Yeah, so the best thing to do is block it off one time if you do have a car without an aircon. Okay, better still, let me take off this component completely. It's just held by two screws. Yeah, and with the screws off, you just basically un do it from here and there it is you got it and now let's open it up and see just to show you the diaphragm there you can see it's just three small little screws that hold it together I've taken out the three uh, small screws and what comes out is a spring first of all and there you can see the diaphragm that's the diaphragm there that's the diaphragm closer view that's what it looks like inside there's full holes and little tears in there so obviously now if that pipe is sucking up against this um, component it's sucking air it's not really pulling the vacuum it's sucking right through it and that causes your engine idle to be affected if this thing is connected so that is why you can see why i've blocked off mine 